What is up? I'm Marcel and welcome back to The Modern Filmmaker. Today we are talking about titles in DaVinci Resolve, and particularly animated titles. There's a lot of things in the video production process that can be extremely time consuming. Uh, the editing, coloring, and audio implementation, and mixing and mastering. And one of those things that can really slow you down is creating titles, especially animated titles. And while DaVinci Resolve does have some built-in animated titles, I would never use them, and I highly suggest that you never use them also for any reason, ever. And that gives me great excitement to introduce to you guys the Modern Filmmakers Modern Titles version 1. felt like a slow clap moment. There it is, 30 animated title presets for DaVinci Resolve. These work with the paid version and the free version. They'll work with DaVinci Resolve 15 and up, so everybody should be able to use it. And they're also just super, super simple to use, and they save you so much freaking time. You can change the color and the text. You know what, let's just hop into the computer and I'll show you guys exactly how to use these things. So first of all, once you download the preset pack from themodernfilmmaker.com, it'll come in a zip file like this, Modern Titles V1. Um, and when you open it, you'll see I've got some of the fonts that I've used in the preset pack right here. Uh, that way you can go ahead and install these and your computer will already know what fonts to use um, when you pull up some of these presets. Um, super simple, all the font files are in here. You can open these and quickly install very simple very simple and i also have all 30 presets uh in here i also have installation instructions in case you forget how to install them uh, so all you need to do is go to a file explorer go to the c drive then users and whatever your username is click that and then go to app data uh, if you can't see this file you'll need to go to view and then click hidden items this is under hidden items so make sure that's clicked then you can go to app data go to roaming, then go down to black magic design, DaVinci Resolve, support, fusion, down to templates, edit, titles. <laughs> so after you get all the way there, all you have to do is drag these in. And the next time you start DaVinci Resolve, um, it will automatically notice that you have some new presets. And once you're in DaVinci, just go to effects library, and then down to titles, and right with all the other titles that you should never use, uh, go down and you'll see Modern Titles V1. And these things are just so sick. Um, I've already got some footage pulled in here. And these really range from really simple to uh, pretty elaborate. And I've got simple ones um, like this that you know I use all the time uh, for little things. It's just two lines of text with this blinking line that blinks in flies over and then animates out and of course i have animations out i hate when you download a preset pack and it just animates in and then it's like what are you supposed to do from there like animate out for me please jeez um so all these some blinks animates in there's a little glitch and animates out very cool i love it so i've got a ton of really simple ones like that um this one the double tilt 
This one has a line that kind of animates in, tilts, separates, and it's got two lines. And in these two lines, you can change to whatever you want. So let's say I wanted this to be Filmmaker. And it seems like it doesn't fit, but really all you need to do is mess with the attributes that I have over here on the right. Um, you can change pretty much anything here on the side. Color, uh, sizing, the tracking, which is the space between the characters. You can change all of that, as well as if you go down here, you can also change the positioning. So I can just go ahead and just scoot this over and then go down here to where it says double, change this to modern, and scoot this over also. And then bada bing, bada boom, I have my own kind of custom. I can change any of the colors that I please. And it's really simple, really awesome. I can change the tracking here if I want. I could make this really small and space this up and then move this up like this to kind of customize it and make it my own. Um, as far as the lines that animate in and out, you can change the colors and that's about it. Uh, just because with too many parameters that can be changed, you can really screw up the animation. And there's a lot going on here. Um, not just the two lines, but the mask in between them that mask out the words, that reveal the words. Uh, so it's really cool. I mean, it's really simple to just go down there, change these lines to whatever color you want. A very quick, easy use. And I'll get rid of that one for now. And then we'll move on to something a little more complex. Um, this Glitch Tech uh, title here. I love this one. This one's really cool. It's got some cool little elements here that like glitch in and they glitch out love that very cool so let's say you had this and you wanted to use this not just for you know like let's say you're making some kind of short film um, or real film you know whatever you're making um, and you want to use this as not just the title but the opening credits um, revealing the actors names uh, you could definitely do this in uh, a few really awesome ways. So first of all, let's just go ahead and name this first actor. Let's say he's Steven. And, oh no, it doesn't fit. Totally fine. We can go over here to tracking, and we can pull this in a little bit. Or we can make it smaller entirely if we wanted to. That could be cool. Or even change some of the font styles. Not just the font itself, but you can change the styles. Uh, which is great and you can write it on or write it off so you could keyframe that to animate on uh, probably wouldn't look quite right with this animation it could look cool let's try it so if I move this down move this over to here and then move this out then you'll see it like writes on the screen as it animates in let this load so you can see it a little smoother kind of animates in very cool but you know kind of unnecessary for what we're doing right now so let's go ahead and give this actor a last name I'll come down here to where it says glitch tech and replace this with Williams Stephen Williams sounds like a strong name come down here and let's make this a black so it stands out and I'll change the color to hmm, let's get this blood red right here that's kind of cool and then I can come back over here to the presets drag in this modern titles glitch tech 1.2 it's the same style but slightly different elements than this first one but it glitches in and glitches out just like the other one so let's give this uh, a female name the next actor actress uh, she'll be Claire Claire and then we'll change this tracking to get that to fit size this down just for preference and then go down to glitch tech and Claire Castleman I don't know something like that right and then do the same thing here change this to a bold give this that same red and now we can come back here, and not only can you change all these parameters uh, just with the colors and size and text and 
whatnot. But you can also go to video and you can change the opacity um, and all the normal stuff. Zoom in and out. Um, change the position, which that's what I'm going to do now. Change the position. I'm going to put this over here. Move this up. And then I'll come over here to Claire and I'll go to video and I will move this down and over. This way you've got kind of the first name, the first credit, first on the call sheet, and then you have the second on the call sheet. Claire Castleman comes in and then it glitches out, which is really sick. I mean, this is just kind of a small example of what you could do. You know, you could definitely have these overlay each other. So one's coming in as the other one's going out. And then, you know, duplicate this and then change this to, you know, who knows. Uh, can't spell Stevens. Give this to Ted. And now you got three cool opening credit texts or anything. I mean, you could use this for an advertisement, whatever you want. I mean, these can be so much more than just titles. I mean, these save so much time. It's ridiculous because just one of these could take, you know, 20, 30 minutes, even an hour. I mean, if you're not experienced to build uh, this kind of animation. Um, so I'm just, I'm loving it. I've been really enjoying it just in the process of usually I build new presets all the time. Um, but, and, and I never save them, but saving them has made it so much more exciting. Um, cause I can just come back here and recall any ones that I really like, like the swing line here. This one's really cool. This line comes out, swings around, drops down, animates these words in. And that's just dope. Um, and of course, we can do the same type thing. I can even do something like this. And this one's keyframed in the positioning. So the position is available for you to change, but you do have to be careful um, to do it on the keyframe. So now that I've clicked over to that keyframe, it's in the, the correct positioning and it works perfect. Um, and I can come down here and commands, bro. And do the filmmaker. I can pull this down to make it fit a little better. And then even pull these back down. And now I have this cool little modern filmmaker situation going on uh what else what else this one's tight to you this one's definitely one of my favorites just this whole technica pack they're all dope um they all use these little squares to kind of give motion to the whole scene i love that so sick i love this one this one's just so sick these are all these are all dope for sure um tilt tech you guys saw that in the preview just trying to see if there's any other really cool ones that weren't in the preview video this one's really cool it's got a lot of cool little elements you can put a word here really small one up here uh, obviously two here and you can have different fonts different colors uh, bold light regular you know they can all be different you can change these lines, all three of these lines here. Uh, you can also change this bar, um, what color that is. They're super simple to purchase also, and they are super cheap. I don't know if I mentioned that, they're only $29. So we are talking 30 text presets for under $30. Um, and I would have made it more, but honestly, I just want you guys to have this. I want everyone who uses DaVinci Resolve to have this just because there's not a lot out there you know when I was using Premiere and After Effects you know there are so many times where I would you know get paid a, from a client a few hundred dollars to make a video and I would just take 20 to 40 to 50 bucks and buy a template and it would 
only take me a couple hours to put the video together. Um, and that made the Adobe Creative Cloud suite so awesome. Um, it made it so easy to use and so universal. And no matter what client was coming to me, I knew that if I couldn't figure it out, I could find a template that could figure it out. And you know, I could go from there. But with DaVinci, at the stage it's at right now, there's really not anything out there. And what is out there kind of looks cheap to me. Um, it doesn't look professional. I haven't seen one preset pack out there, one template pack out there that I would use for my work. Um, and just looking over that, it, it kind of just shined a light on something to me that was like, oh my gosh, like DaVinci needs this. I love the program. I love the company. I love what they're trying to do. And now you have tons of titles that you can use if you're starting a YouTube channel and don't have much money to spend on, you know, your video production gear and software. Um, this is just a really cost effective way to get yourself in the door and to get you making and creating faster um, and learning. Um, because not only does it take time to build these, but not everybody kind of has that knowledge of what makes a good title, um, what makes a cool, unique um, title animation. And this just saves you so much time. And of course, you guys can pick this up at themodernfilmmaker.com. Um, and I hope you guys are as excited about these as I am. I mean, I have been so stoked to release these for the last couple months as I've been working on them. I've just been grinning from ear to ear for no reason. Just like, wait till these people know what I'm about to drop on them. And if you guys have any questions or comments, concerns about how to use these, um, if you run into some problems, let me know. Um, like I said, go to themodernfilmmaker.com, pick these up, only $29 for 30 text animations that I use all the time. Um, and you'll probably use them all the time too once you have them. So as always, I'm Marcel, and this has been The Modern Filmmaker, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!